Hi, this is Wendy from Knitters Brewing, and I want to talk to you about the border of the Peacock Girl Shawl. A little bit about how it's made, and then I want to demonstrate for you the pearl-wise cable cast-on that's used. So the border has nine of these semicircular motifs in a row on it, and then four border stitches on each edge of those nine. And these semicircular motifs, they look a little loose right now because we're making this with thin yarn and big needles, but I guarantee you, uh, when you get done and you block this, it blocks out beautifully. So when we make these motifs, we're going to start by casting on 17 stitches. And then we start at the bottom and we work back and forth and adding stitches as we go. And what happens is those 17 cast on stitches get incorporated into this right edge as you're looking at the front of the motif. And then when you finish, you'll have 25 stitches in the section for the motif and you'll finish uh, at the end of the right right side. Then we're going to cast on the 17 stitches for the next section which will be here. So to do that we're going to do the cable cast on and we're going to do it uh, from the back side of the work and thus we're going to do it purl wise. So the first thing that you want to do is flip your work over. Get that out of the way. Alright, got our yarn. We're going to cast on 17, and we need to have a stitch marker in place just to separate the different sections so that we don't get those mixed up when we're doing our body part. We want to have the sections separated. Okay, to do the cable cast on, we are going to do it just like we're purling, only instead of going into just the front leg of the next stitch, we're going to go between the, new, the two stitches. So from the back, we're going to come up to the front between both those stitches. Then, we're going, trying to keep my fingers out of the way, I apologize. <laughs> then we're going to wrap the yarn around as if we were purling and pull the yarn through to the back, just like purling. And then we're going to put the stitch over the edge of the needle, like this and the little marker will be in the way a little bit but you can ignore it. Alright, now we have one stitch cast on. So again, so then to do the next one we come between the stitch you just made and the previous one, wrap the yarn around as if to purl, bring it back through to the back, and then put that new loop over the end of the needle. So you're going to do that until you have 17 new loops on the needle. And because you've got the stitch marker in here, it'll be easy to count those out. And that's how you do the pearl-wise cable cast-on.